One of the procedures that I use, I teach, is the word collateral. For example, youngster comes to class without a pencil or without some material. I will loan the person what uh, the material, but I ask collateral. I've taught them that in order to for me to get what I've loaned them back, I need something that they want back, in which case I will accept a house key. Kids never forgot to get their house key back. Or a quarter, kids never forgot that, to get their quarter back. I always got my material back. Now, I would not accept a shoe or a belt or something. It had to be something that was very specific to the kid. So again, what you do is, instead of, for example, sending a kid to the office because it, the kid didn't bring whatever the material was, handle it yourself. You can handle it yourself. You may be wondering, how effective is this? Let me just give you one example from one of hundreds of emails that I received just about classroom management. I appreciated your differentiation between classroom management and discipline. After 35 years in the classroom, I could see how many times discipline problems are exacerbated by poor classroom management. I want to continue to emphasize this idea of if you teach procedures, your, the number of discipline problems you have will significantly decrease. You'll still have some kids with poor impulse control, but the vast majority of your problems will decrease once your kids know what you want them to do because you've taught them how to do it, they've practiced it, and you've reinforced it by practicing again.